This is Rita Goldner, and I'm interviewing a children's picture book author, Barbara Renner, who's debuting her latest picture book, and I'm going to let her tell you all about it. Thank you, Rita. And Rita did not tell you that Rita has illustrated two of my books, and the one that I am debuting this uh, month, well, it was available May the 1st, is this book about uh, trumpeter swans. It's called Summer, Time to Search for Food, a story about trumpeter swans. Now, you're probably asking, why am I writing stories about trumpeter swans? Well, when I retired from teaching, my husband and I bought a summer home in Minnesota, in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. And I love wildlife, and I was enthralled by all of the waterfowl up in Minnesota. Having grown up in the high desert, we had ground animals, not too many uh, waterfowl because there's not a lot of water in Arizona and New Mexico. So I went to Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge to look at all the beautiful waterfowl, including the common loon and the trumpeter swans. They're one of the largest, or they could be the largest waterfowl in North America. And I wanted to write about them. So this book is a story about little Siggy, who is right there. He's a, a little signet. And his parents, uh, Pan and Cobb Swan, are teaching all their signets how to feed underwater. And if, it was the cutest thing when I was at Tamarack Wildlife Refuge, watching all these little tails sticking up in the water. And that's what gave me the idea for this book. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun if little Siggy didn't want to get his face wet and feed underwater because the water stung his nose. And so that's how I created the story about little Siggy not wanting to feed underwater. And so he goes off on his own on land and tries to find food elsewhere without getting his nose wet. And all that happens is he runs into danger. And one of the things he runs into is a red fox. Let me show you one of Rita's beautiful illustrations with the fox. So here's Siggy who encounters a fox and the fox is not very nice to him. So it scares Siggy so he goes back to the water. And then he encounters these little uh, turtles, painted turtles, and Rita said, wouldn't it be fun if Siggy moved the log and all the turtles go flying off the log? And so I said, yes, that's wonderful. That would add a little humor, and it looks great. So all the turtles go flying off the log. So Siggy is looking for food, and he discovers a way that he can go underwater and not have the water sting his nose. So I'll let you read the book for yourself to find out what he does. But also, my um, <clears throat> love for these waterfowl prompted me to do a lot of research, and I wanted to get it right. So I have some interesting facts in the book. See, there's little Siggy with the pond weeds in his mouth. But I have interesting facts about swans. And in the beginning, too, is uh, a little introduction about how the uh, trumpeter swans used to be on the endangered species list and how they reintroduced uh, them to the Minnesota area and the Tamarack Wildlife Refuge. Summer follows my first book called Spring. Time to build a nest. 
And this is all based on fact and it's a whimsical story about how trumpeter swans build a nest. So thank you, Rita, for having me and having me, allowing me to talk about my love of trumpeter swans. Um, here are some of the other books that I've written. Uh, I've written three books about Quincy the Quail and his family. I have four books about Lonnie the Loon growing up. Once again, that was influenced by my visits to Minnesota. Um, Larry's Words of Wisdom is, a, is a, about my dog. He's very smart and he has these wonderful quotes that people can live by. And then here are my swan books, my trumpeter swan books. Spring, Time to Build a Nest. And then my new one, Summer, Time to Search for Food. Now, I, you can contact me through my website if you would like to purchase or read more about any of these books. And the description uh, of my website will be located in the description below this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this and thank you very much, Rita. So in closing, I was just going to say I am a big fan of wildlife and a big fan of Barbara Renner also. <laughs> so Barbara, what is on the horizon for you? Oh, okay. Well, thank you. What is, I'm working on a Roadrunner story because I wanted to bring uh, the bird stories a little closer to home. There's uh, the greater Roadrunner, which is in Arizona and New Mexico. And so I'm working on a fun story about um, a little roadrunner named Gunner. Excellent. Okay, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, click on the little bell below and you'll be notified next time I post a video. Thanks.